My SatPak project aims to provide compact full Doppler satellite tuning in the field. The LCD screen shows the name of each satellite whose information is stored as three line elements in the microcontroller's permanent memory. It uses this information to check if each satellite's elevation is above zero degrees. Right now, only three satellites are stored on this chip, but I've written a small computer program to select satellites and transfer the necessary data to the microcontroller. Okay, it looks like this. And uh, first of all, from the settings uh, menu, you can choose um, various settings to add the latitude, indicate the latitude, longitude, and altitude. You can also set the COM port that you're communicating through. If that's incorrect, you'll get a, an incorrect notification, and uh, then you can set it back to the correct one there. We'll do that. And you can also uh, drag and drop um, uh, satellite from the list of available satellites to the um, set that you want to choose to be stored on the uh, microcontroller. So here we're adding a whole bunch and if we skip ahead to a whole mess of them and add a few more you'll see another feature of this. Uh, and that is that uh, if there are too many uh, satellites chosen for that particular memory available in that chip, uh, the last ones that are on it not going to be stored are indicated in red. So we're just going to delete a whole bunch of these, get to a sort of uh, a longer list than we had before. And now what we're going to do is say uh, burn those onto the chip. You can see that the, the LCD now will take a little pause, it will reboot, and then it'll say loading TLEs. And in the top left, you can see what the program is doing. It's uh, telling you that it is loading the TLEs and uh, how it is progressing doing so over the serial line that you've chosen. It's about a one minute uh, process to do this. Once it's loaded the TLEs, it will also use the computer system time to set the time on the microcontroller so that that's as accurate as possible in the real time clock will give you good results. Uh, and then it'll reboot the um, microcontroller and we'll see the whole larger group of satellites being tracked. Also, you'll be able to notice that one of these satellites, GEO32, actually comes into view as it's cycling through them. And when that happens, I'm going to zoom in and you'll see at the bottom of the screen, the UHF frequency will change from 36.79 to the proper frequency. There, it just did it. Okay, here are a couple of URLs for uh, the code and for my blog, 73.